Okay, gonna start disconnecting the engine. Take these guys out for this uh, exhaust manifold to catalytic converter connection. And I guess I don't care if these twist off, so I'm just gonna break them off since I have a new manifold on the other engine. A little surprise those nuts came off and didn't twist off the studs. And I did pick up a new gasket. It's a little hard to find the part number online for the gasket that goes between the manifold and the uh, catalytic converter. So if you can see that number, it's a good one to keep, in, keep track of. Yeah, I was able to separate that without any problem. Just push the whole exhaust system back a little bit. But I don't exactly have stock hangers anymore. This is the original exhaust and a lot of the hangers rusted off, so it's all improvised. Probably not as tight as the original. So now I think I'm going to uh, loosen these bolts for the engine transmission mount here. Loosen all these guys up so that I can get them out easier when I have the thing on the hoist and don't have to break them free. So just, I'll just loosen them. I'll probably loosen these uh, bolts that hold the engine to the transmission as well just so I can get it apart easier. And also the front engine mount here, which is hard to see. Okay, I've loosened the engine to transmission bolts. There's one up here, just below the water pump cable. I don't think you can see it, but right above this bracket, there's one that you don't notice right away. And then here's another one following it down. There's one here. And off to move the light. And then I have these engine or transmission mount bolts loose here, as well as here. There's three in here. And then this whole this whole thing can come out if they remember I had the transmission out once before when I put a new clutch in. So then right. So there's the two on the bottom. Here's the front engine mount. I took that bolt loose as well as the two that hold it to the transmission there and there. You can't tell. There might be one more on top. I think there is one on the, on the top I'll have to get. But now I think I'll loosen the starter bolts because they're towards the bottom just so that can come out easier if I need to take it out. And then I'm trying to... the air conditioning still works. So I'm going to have to try to get this compressor loose and leave it in the car as the engine comes out, which I don't even know is possible at this point, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, I've got the starter disconnected. Uh, the thing to remember is this: the big wire goes on first, then the smaller one, and then the washer and the nut. And when you take this nut loose, you want to hold on to this big wire so that it doesn't rotate with the stud and break the starter. I learned that the hard way. And then this little guy, same thing, hold on to the wire as you loosen this 8mm nut so you don't risk breaking that stud off if it's kind of rusty. This car has been in a salt environment its whole life, so it's really bad compared to if you live in California or something. And then I loosened the bolt, mount, lower mounting bolt. here and the upper one is kind of blind. I've got the extension in here and you can feel when you're on the the, the bolt and you gotta take that guy out and that'll let the starter just come right out. Okay there the starter is out. You can see the top bolt and the center of the screen, the lower bolt. That top one is not gonna be fun to put back in. It's kind of blind at least from the bottom. Maybe it's easier from the top. And then I also had to use a combination of extensions. If I use the long extension, I hit the oil dipstick with a deep well socket. And the short one wasn't long enough to get the ratchet on, so I have this baby extension slash rotate by 45 degree piece, and that allowed, me, allowed it to get in there. So make sure you have a good assortment of extensions for this job. Okay, I loosened the air conditioning bolts. There's compressor bolts. There's uh, one right there. I guess it's more in the center of the screen now. And then there's this lower one. Uh, I can get it there. 
And I also got that pressure sensor connector off. Up in there, it's a little tab. I had to push up and push it away from you from the bottom. Probably easier than from the top. So with that, I think I'm ready to uh, lower the car and start taking stuff apart on the top side. Okay, just make some notes of what gets disconnected on the top. I have a cable here to the intake air temperature or mass airflow sensor, I'm not quite sure which is on this car. I'm going to label that. It's got the coolant intake line from the reservoir running back here. It's got a clip on the back of the ECM module. And it looks like this wire harness that came with the old or the new engine goes over that guy. And the connection to the ECM goes under. And I see that I have just a single cable here. It looks like maybe the older uh, cruise control maybe had a bracket for that. It's attached here on top to this bracket. <clears throat> it goes around the fuel rail line here. Under. Back in there. I'll take some more pictures when I get further back. Here's the connection to the spark plug coils. And there's a cable here. So I think that might be the uh, part of the vent, gas tank vent EVAP system. Goes underneath. There's a connector down there. Plugs into that mess. And I'll probably take some more pictures here in a minute. Okay, these clips on the air filter coverage just pop them off. And then this lifts off. It's hooked here, so you have to go that way as you lift it off. But I'm going to get this disconnected over here first. Yeah, this little faster is a minor pain. <clears throat> I got it started with a small screwdriver. Now I can wedge this guy, this lifter tool in here and get this plug up. Which releases the tension and then it just comes out. And there's a clamp underneath here you have to loosen. And then this thing just lifted right out. So I'll lift the air filter out. <laughs> I have a K&N washable. That I wash every time I change the oil. And next, I'm going to take this uh, air filter box out just because it gets a little bit in the way of that engine mount and getting the engine out. Here's a nut to have to take out to get this air filter box out. Looks like the rubber is just a little cracked up down there. There's two rubber uh, mounts that just push into a bracket once you get that <coughs> nut in the front out. Those rubbers push right into these two holes here and here and there's the nut just back on the stud disconnected the coil pack plug there's a safety on here you have to take this gray piece out first and you do that just by lifting up this black tab and sliding it out then you can push the black tab down to release the connector and push it away I think I'll take off the serpentine or whatever belt Next, I forgot to drain the coolant when I had the car up, so I'm going to have to go back up and do that.